Yo, 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 what's going on, Say Yons? It's your boy, John Johnson, coming straight out of King Slayer Gaming. We back at it again with another MSF Marvel Strike Force video. This time around, we got the weekly blog, baby. We got some amazing news as we prep for the week and get set for that race to level 100. Yo, I'm telling you, we are already pumped and ready to go. If you didn't know before, we also stream on twitch.tv slash Kingslayer Gaming LLC. You got to add the LLC, baby, so you know it's me. Always Tuesday, Wednesdays, as well as Fridays, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time at the latest. Sometimes we pop off at the 420 joint. If you know, you know, we ready to go. Hey, if you are new, make sure you're hitting up that sub as well as that like. Helps us out dearly here on the channel, baby. If you're ready to tear apart this blog and get it ready, dog, let's get it. Me the original jungle is from 19 Wadi Ayasa. Can't get the car them lock up. Freedom, youngster. There is no original more original than this. All right, baby. So we have the weekly blog. Along came a symbiote. This is going to be Gwenham's initial release in the game. We also have the fact that the horsemen scourges, the update to the teams are already set. They're live in the game. Now, the horsemen events are not live in the game right now, but that's because they will be coming around as we will get to a little bit later on in the blog. But right now, they got the new horsemen team inputs. We'll get to that a little bit later or what those are but yo they already live right now how fast did they get that in there bro yo real talk respect i appreciate it then we also got new raid season rewards we got a spider weaver diamond featuring that's pretty clean now here is the big bad out here dog we got january 22nd we're gonna be kicking off level one Hunt it! Race to the top. Captain America Blitz. We also have the Horseman Scourges are going to be full in effect. That's when we'll be able to get some higher stars on those Horseman characters with those new teams. And then we're going to have the Blast Off to Hunt it. Collect Century Credits from Farming Campaign Nodes. Then we also do the Level Lift Off, which means you got to battle in Rage. And the Strike Pass is going to include Night crawler that is so dope, baby. Hey, if you are new and you have not had a chance to get your hands on Night Crawler, take this opportunity bro this is the chance he's only a 15 shard unlock and works phenomenally at low levels bro i'm telling you jump on it dog make sure that you do stick around on that monday january 22nd because we will be streaming live at twitch tv that's king slayer gaming llc you already know dog we're gonna be doing the race to 100 i know everybody's gonna be there we're gonna be having a lot of fun we have some awesome uh, fantasy leagues we're gonna be putting together for our subscriber chat as well dog i'm telling you we are having a blast and monday it kicks it off dog then we also got january 24th we're gonna have machines of war we're gonna battle in a alliance war uh then we have january 26th that's going to be the gwenham's initial release save up them power cores now if you're trying to build up this team at least i know i am i will be definitely getting gwenham hopefully day one i'm saving up my power cores to get her because she's only a 45 unlock let's get it bro speaking of the fact that she's only going to be a 45 unlock we could talk about the fact that they did change up her mini unique oh thank god ah bro man that was wild so now we have it set that she's going to be using those osborne uh, formulas which is awesome because it is the same unique the green goblin does use but at least has been a little bit longer further out to where you ha if you haven't built them up or taken them to that level hopefully you do have a little bit spare there or th the important thing is it's not gonna be alien spores can we just point that out it's not gonna be alien spores all right so then we have the new character pole winner which is going to be panda pool we already knew that we're chilling we're vibing uh then on top of that we got a new character pole it's gonna be for alpha flight so this is the new team that they're going to be dropping here very soon it's going to be alpha flight the word is this is going to be a skill raid team which god we need it so bad invaders are terrible please give us something decent dog and but this is where we can actually pick two choices to become members of that team so this is your chance to revitalize some booty water characters bro because the reworks they be bringing out are amazing so hopefully the three choices that we get to pick from will be some decent revival characters hell give me zemo give me bullseye dog i want some characters that i have no 
effort or no interest in at all but at the same time there also is that other side of it to where if they just pick somebody you regret upgrading that they pick somebody for that squad because that would also be nice dog i'm just saying oh it works both ways, bro. Either way, we're going to have some characters added to this team instead of them just releasing a whole new set of five. I am okay with this. That's all I'm saying. All right. So then we have the Scourge events themselves, which is going to be awesome. This is where we find out the updated uh, team's requirements. And at the same time, we did know this before in the previous blog, but this is just to reiterate. Morgan Le Fay is going to have Hive Mind, Underworld, Web Warriors, and Dark Hunters. Rogue is going to have Infestation, Secret Defender, New Warriors, and Young Avengers, A-Force, and Human. We're also going to have Red Hulk's going to be Asgardian, Black Order with Thanos. That's a bait. Uh, Hero Asgardians, Revengers, and Wave 1 Avengers. Then we also have honestly probably my favorite change is archangel is now going to implement pegasus also we know they still gonna have bionic avengers and wakandans we ain't worried about that but check it out minions are also gonna have villain so that is amazing so happy about that get them stars higher on these characters um i am in the position where we just unlocked apoc here on the channel don't worry dog i am gonna be releasing a full kit play through my reactions to homies kit the funny thing is i have briefly skimmed certain parts of the kit like i haven't even really looked at it like that so i am just using him in my arena right now and slapping bro like i'm even beating big boy apoc teams like with the secret defenders and apoc that i got we're taking we're doing 1 million punch-ups against a actual fully built up apoc like homie was 400 thou and we beat him like I'm just now understand the team comp probably wasn't there because they also had Kang, Val, um, Spider Weaver, and Morgan. So they, you know, they were doing. It wasn't the best team comp for me to go against, but that was still a one million punch up against a big boy Apoc, and we got the Dubski, bro. So all I'm saying is I love Apoc. Thank you so much to everybody out there who's been a part of this journey. Even if all you've done is hit a like on a video every now and again, baby, you are part of this experience, and I love you and appreciate you, dog. Real talk. So then we end up getting the Strike Pass is going to be in C. Oh, and they also said the Scourge for Dark Rally has finally been fixed. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That's nice. That's that's a nice little ad. All right. So then we have the strike path. This is going to include Nightcrawler. This is going to be awesome. This launches uh, for commanders level 80 plus. So you got to be at least 80 plus, it looks like, to get Nightcrawler through the strike path to have it open to you. Not sure if they'll have other iterations of Nightcrawler in the past at lower levels. I'm not sure. They don't list that here. But what I will tell you is... If you don't have Nightcrawler, get Nightcrawler, bro. Like, he is a monster in every game mode. Monster. Like, that's. He's essentially what gives me hope for the symbiotes. Because if they make their teams like this kind of a character or like his team is. Symbios better be able to do something outside of raids. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I better not be here in four months from now saying, oh, man, I'm glad. I wish I hadn't upgraded my symbiotes again. <laughs> but we'll get there, baby. Speaking of symbiotes, dog, we also got spores in the store. This is huge. This is monumental because that is one of the biggest complaints that the community has had with these new symbiotes drop. And they all need the exact same many unique. And that is the alien spores. And we do not have alien spores, baby. I will be honest. I don't have the alien spores to take my carnage to T16 currently. I have Venom to T16. My carnage is not there yet. And I still have to farm so many more <laughs> alien spores between, at the time, Gwenom, Void Knight, and Red Goblin. And also carnage still. So if I want to get this team up and running, where are these alien spores going to come from that isn't out of my wallet? So they are finally um, implementing and listening to the community in the sense of... The supply store is being taken over by alien spores. That's pretty sexy. For a limited time, we're guaranteeing the appearance of alien spore gear in the supply store to help you with power up your hive mind characters. Catalyst slots, uh, catalyst part slots will be temporarily replaced by their corresponding gear tier color for advanced superior and augmented alien spores. The spore invasion starts January 24th at 1 p.m. and runs until January 31st at 12 p.m. PST. So keep your eyes on the 
supply store and don't miss the opportunity to sharpen those teeth for high mind team baby oh my god come on save up your power cores get those story refreshes get those alien spores because i'm telling you you're gonna need them and as we all know who needs those alien spores more than anybody in the game super scroll so this is great if you do not want to build up your symbiote team and you don't want to mess with hive mind because they're a raid team and you don't do raids whatever play the game you won't you want to play the game but if you are trying to play the game to win and you still want to get super scroll up this is the perfect opportunity so you get those alien spores baby yo this is a great change can we also give credit where it's due dog msf has made a whole 180 at least for me in the past over the past couple years dog like give me two years ago back bro we were not in the same place on the community level or the the frustration level it was just not there dog like and the msf at the time it felt like it was egregious like it felt like they were doing it out of extreme prejudice towards the player base and they just wanted to hurt us in so many ways to where they could just drag every little penny and i just don't feel like that's been the narrative at the head of msf right now at least for me i have felt a great liberation over the past couple of months but at the end of the day i'm also new into the twitch universe i'm new into the content creator universe for msf and the fact that the community is so big and so incredible and so genuine that has helped change my perspective of how i play this game how i enjoy this game and I just love coming at it with that positive light and at the same time there are definitely things that do frustrate me obviously i'm a player i play this game just as much as y'all do there are obviously things that frustrate me as well however i will say over the past few months msf has made a at least a better player feel for me I, I feel better as a player right now playing msf i don't get that it feels bad and when i do trust me we, we get them sometimes the the horseman skirt is initial drop Ooh, we went off but they were so quick to make the changes and implement them and they even tried to cover their tracks they said listen we might not be able to put these new horsemen changes in right away because we got to test them. we got to do this that and that bro they are bringing them in the very next implementation of the horsemen scourges bro that is amazing that is gas i love y'all for that msf scopely y'all doing it up over there um, I'm not trying to be a shield, baby. I'm just letting y'all know I feel better as a player right now. All right. So then we also are going to look at this. We got a little bit more, a little bit more goodness coming from this. Gwenham's many unique change. We did talk about it a little bit earlier, but here you go. All players to help build them up with that Gwenham. They're changing the many unique from that alien spore to the experimental formula. I'm not mad about it. All right, so then we also have raid season reward updates. They're going to be doing a uh, gear for the next raid season, which will include a new feature or war that will help you focus on alliance war, power up your new raid teams, and flood the raid lanes because the diamonds on spider weaver will be up for grabs so hey if you are deep in your spider weaver me personally i don't i haven't really messed with my weaver since the ape honestly since the apoc unlock i think i got her up for that um i might i got a lot of people out there telling me i should still go for a big boy apoc and I understand the sentiment and I feel like at some point that will be a goal for me. I just want to I want to plan for DD6 first before I go after Big Boy Apoc. Just me personally. I just want to have the shackles off of me having to upgrade the same teams again and go through that process let me just live my life a little bit in msf that's all i'm saying all right and then we got race to the top earn big rewards while you enjoy the power of level 100 level up as much as your roster you can during a 40 day event to grab diamonds gear and rare costumes now what does rare costumes mean trash that's what it means um the <laughs> rare costumes shouldn't even be there they shouldn't even put that we should just take that out don't don't, don't worry about that that's trash but everything else they they said here was nice and what do i mean by that well look at this all right rewards the <laughs> power load doesn't have to stop a level 100 blast off through powerful milestone rewards like diamond sunspot which is okay you get teal gear teal mini uniques t2 crystals and ions okay along the way you also get captain marvel outfit trash and you also get gold apocalypse trash bro are you serious 
Gold Apocalypse looks looks like trash. I'm sorry. He really does. I just got him and I and I have to be honest. He just don't look great. Then on top of that, like you just it just doesn't look original. It's just let's just make him gold. Captain Marvel, really? Really? This isn't me because I thought the movie was trash. That's got nothing to do with it. It, it was trash. This has got nothing to do with that. This has to do with the fact that we don't use her anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Like, nobody is asking for a Captain Marvel skin. Nobody. Maybe a Vulture skin, a Mysterio skin, you know? Something decent of a character that we use day to day. Uh, a new Kang skin that isn't gold. Um, Something creative, but this was... Nah, nah. I don't want to celebrate a race to 100 with a character that I will never ever see in my life. Like, that's... Nah, and, and trust me, I know we see APOC every day. Now, that, that's great. I love it. But where's the creativity, baby? Just gold? Really, baby? Uh, it's, hey, if it's for you, it's for you, baby. Um, it's just a miss for me, baby. It's just a miss for me. All right. So then they're also going to be changing up the reward system slightly. For the first time ever, we're grouping rewards. There's a new reward called packs. Each pack will contain a set of items of equal quantities. In Race to the Top, we're introducing the Teal Catalyst Pack. Each Teal Catalyst Pack contains 50 of every Teal Catalyst. You can tap into the pack icon and see each pack contains. And we'll be introducing new packs with different contents in the future. Okay, cool. Okay, so you're just going to get a group of rewards all right interesting interesting all right so check it out this is what's going to be really really cool so this is where we're going to be able to do our bonuses are going to be able to kick in okay so add your efforts with six bonus events that will appear throughout the race to the top event so we're going to be able to get gear explosion which is earned three times origin gear rewards for 24 hours these are going to be the adjacent dates for that also got geology bounty you're going to earn two times the iso crystals from iso 8 campaign nodes for 24 hours that's going to be on the 31st of january that is sick um on top of that you're going to get raining gold so earn two times go rewards from campaign notes for 24 hours let's go energy overload get two times campaign energy for each campaign energy refresh for 24 hours that's going to be february 15th wow that's nasty and then you're going to be at a training game get two times training modules from campaign modes for 24 hours hours i'm saving up all my campaign energy for that day i am spending all of my champagne energy on that holy cr yeah i'm doing that i'm doing that all right and then we can get this is going to be the event chart itself they go through everything here piece by piece for you i'm not gonna do that here with you going through because this is going to be available on the website. This isn't really a numbers kind of situation, but just know the gold apocalypse is way, way down here. And the Captain Marvel costume is way up here. And in between, you have one diamond sunspot, two diamond sunspot, a three diamond sunspot. If you finish the entire thing, you also can get some mega gold orbs fragments through these and then see if you can get yourself a possibility at 100 million gold. Good luck with that one. I'm just going to let you know. All right. Don't forget the free Friday claim. If you haven't already, you get the five free void night shards. You also are going to be able to get 500 solar schematic orb fragments towards our event we got running right now. You also get 100 ISO 8 campaign energy and 3,000 solar schematic milestone points. And then on top of that, that's going to have the allied support orb fragment. It's going to, the orb is going to be updated, which I really do appreciate. Um, they're going to be changing it to the alloy, the allied supply three orb. The gold is being introduced increased by 300 and then we also get training models increased by 150 let's go not mad about that at all um now we also have the blast off to 100 event itself this is actually pretty generous when it comes to the rewards here not mad about this you do get some diamond oil fragments you do get some nice gear out of this you do get some armor 14 or armor 17 excuse me fragments and i overall this is nice just because i like the training modules that you're going to get from this i'm just deep into training modules where i need them any event that allows me to do training of any kind i'm knocking it out so here are all the other events charts for when it comes to liftoff when it comes to machines of war they are going to be available for you now we also have the quick rumble going on right now for perfect host where you're going to be able to get uh, more shards i believe right now it's venom which is cool <sighs> 
he's the only one well carnage too but i don't even know why we're even talking about anti-venom in this graphic like why unless you're gonna do something to him stop stop teasing me stop putting him in stuff oh my god yo i just want to let y'all know this has been a blast thank you so much for hanging out with your boy uh before i do bounce out of here i do want to take a moment to speak to the community out there and let them know about this new concept that we got going on here at king slayer gaming but if you are gonna head out i love you thank you so very much you are beautiful and you are valued take care of you and yours hey if you stuck around i appreciate you just wanted to let you know if you are on twitch tv at any time kingslayer gaming llc follow us up also with our subscribers i just want to go a little bit more into that fantasy wrestling league that we are hosting on our discord yo real talk i'm having a lot of fun with it you already know over here we are big pro wrestling fans and i wanted a way to give back to my community in a way that integrated everything that we had going on and have a lot of fun and just have a way to just chill and just really just kick back so check it out this is how it works if you are a twitch subscriber you actually have the option to join up in our discord you have the chance to pick between two different professional wrestlers it can be in uh, one male one female it doesn't matter what company they're in so you get two on the roster and throughout the whole month every time your wrestler gets a dub ski they're going to get a certain amount of points if they win championship matches they get more points if they end up losing at pay-per-views things like that everything is listed on there for you in the discord but in the meantime you don't have to actually watch wrestling at all nobody has to watch anything your boys doing all the points doing all the rewards doing everything like that all you got to do tune into the discord baby and just see how you do hey i'm gonna be kicking that off next week if you are interested there are gonna be some more details dropping on that on the discord so make sure you do look at the link in the description because we have the invite up there hey we do msf content and professional wrestling content on the regular make sure you're hitting us up at twitch tv as we talked about tuesday wednesday and friday 5 p.m mst just to let you know reiterate we will be there monday for the launch the race to level 100 baby so hey until next time it's been your boy john johnson straight out of king slayer gaming you know what it is mm -hmm.